Welcome back. Welcome back to the KPRC2 right. Plus live stream. Since 2014, 30 vehicles have been added to the National Historic Vehicle Register, a program created in partnership with the U.S. Department of the Interior and Library of Congress. Yes, yeah, so this program is to celebrate and catalog the world's most significant automobiles. Now, this year, one of the inductees is the iconic 1952 Hudson Hornet. Here to tell us about this cool car and many others, Diane Parker, VP for Haggerty Drivers Foundation. And we've got Jonathan Klinger, Executive Director of the Haggerty Drivers Foundation. Uh, good morning to both of you. Thanks for being with us. Good, good morning. morning. Thanks so much for having us on. So right off the bat, I guess, Diane, to you first. What about that famous car there behind you? So behind us, you see the 52 Hudson Hornet, uh, one of the famous NASCAR driven by Herb Thomas, who took 78 podium wins driving uh, the Hudson Hornet, We're still to this day ranks 13th uh, among the drivers. You might be familiar with this car, not so much because it's a Hudson, but because it's affiliated with a famous movie, which is the Cars movie, the character Doc Hudson. So we kind of connect with that younger generation okay. through that movie. It's very cool. Yeah, I didn't realize right? that. Sure. All right, Jonathan, what is, uh, give us some background here on the National Historic Vehicle Register. So we, we do the celebration at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. every year uh, to honor the vehicles that are added to the National Historic Vehicle Register. And this is our way of celebrating culture, culturally significant automobiles that are important to American history that has impacted society as we know it today. So, Diane, what kind of cars or, or models, makes, I guess, are being added this year, and how are they being honored? So this year, we have the Hudson Hornet that's right behind us, but then we also have a 1960s turbine, Chrysler turbine car that will be added, and that car will be placed in this particular glass box on Wednesday morning, so we'll switch the cars out. Okay. Wow, we're watching some really cool B-roll, too, <laughs> as we talk to you this morning. Jonathan, why does the Haggerty Drivers Foundation think this is such an important mission here? Well, in addition to celebrating historically significant vehicles like this, to, to share this with the general public, uh, to talk about how cars are more than just the transportation we typically think them about. But we're also looking for inspiring the next generation to have an interest in cars and an interest in driving. And one of the programs that, that we offer, and this is open to any young driver, is our License to the Future program. And that provides grant funding for people who uh, are taking driver's education training. So we don't want a financial barrier to be a limit to anyone to become a safe driver. Indeed. Yeah. Talk more about this, uh, the, the honor each and every year, adding these cars to the register. I know you talked about, you know, cultural significance and whatnot, but what is that criteria? What, what do we look for in a vehicle to, to be allowed or eligible to be added? So we follow the same criteria that they do for the Register of Historic Places, and that's four criteria. A car only needs to meet one. It's association with an important person, an important event. It's engineering or... Uh, structural value to it and then there's something called information value and that's simply is it the first is it the last or maybe it's the only remaining good example hmm. that that remains for the make or the model yeah. it's really it's fascinating right <laughs> it's so cool uh, Diane where can people go for more information you can go to driversfoundation.org for more information and to apply for grants for license to the future Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you both. Yeah. Diane Parker, VP for Hagerty Drivers Foundation, and Jonathan Klinger, Executive Director of the Hagerty Drivers Foundation. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank, thank you, you so much. much.